Hello and welcome to the all new Morgan Super 3. In this latest in-depth video, we take a deep look at the details of Morgan's most individualistic and exciting model ever. Joining Morgan's plus range of models, the Super 3 takes its design inspiration from the jet age, where form and function combined to help broaden your horizons. The Morgan Motor Company was founded with a three-wheeler. In 1909, founder HFS Morgan built his runabout, and here we are 113 years later with the Super 3, which continues that legacy. The name Super is not uncommon to Morgan, having been used previously in the past on F Super and Super Sports and so on. Now, of course, it points towards the inspiration for the designers of the Super 3, to the jet age, to 1950s America and the thrill of international travel. The Super 3 is Morgan's first clean sheet design since the Aero 8 of the year 2000 and visually is the biggest departure since the Plus 4 Plus of 1962. Every detail, no matter how superficial it might at first appear, serves a technical purpose. Let's take a look at some of those form meets function details, starting with this aluminium casting on which the engine and suspension are hung. This is a typical component that serves multiple purposes here and see how it's finished in this fantastic black aluminium. The suspension wishbones on this are as long as possible and the brakes are set as far out as possible too. This gives benefits for ride quality and handling. Moving on from the suspension, we have that distinctive Morgan face, those round headlights and this beautiful cowl. Behind that, we've got these ducts here which serve to feed air into the engine which sits behind it. It also acts as a kind of visual break between that cowl and the rest of the body towed behind it. The entire vehicle has that appearance of being towed behind these beautiful front wheels. This is 20 inches in diameter and was designed by Morgan. It takes its inspiration probably from the 1950s, 60s salt flat racers and I love that detail. The tyres were developed in conjunction with Avon. These Speedmasters are unique to this model and they've even got that lovely balloon effect you see with uh, retro vehicles. And even the tyre tread has a vintage pattern, but underneath it's a very modern product. As well as being the first Morgan to be built on this superformed monocoque structure which has weight, rigidity and packaging benefits, it's also the first Morgan to be available with a cup holder, yes. And that can be fitted on one of these side rails here and they're very, very versatile. You can even hang a GoPro off of this and of course that takes us to these wonderful side blades and the opportunity to hang panniers and bespoke luggage. There's luggage from Malay London, 18 ounce wax cotton pannier bags, for example, and a hard shell case, which can be painted to be the same color or to contrast with the color of the bodywork. This really is the most configurable Morgan ever. The cockpit is designed for adventure and it's beautifully ruggedized. It's IP rated. There are twin USB sockets. You can have saddle leather. There's a technical fabric, which is particularly resistant to UV and water. The iconic Morgan instrumentation is digital for the very first time. And it's framed by this wonderful metallic structure, which is available in both silver and anodized black finish. In fact, looking through the cockpit here, there's hardly anything from plastic. Everything has a very cold and quality feel to it. And there's some cool technology in here too. Mounted on the steering cowl is a beeline navigation system. This is a beautiful compromise between a conventional bulky sat-nav system and a flapping map. It acts as a kind of digital compass to ensure that you stay on the roads less explored. I particularly like these patented fixings which are designed to hold everything from cup holders to your unique luggage. And there's even a quad lock fitting inside for your mobile phone. But the reason I'm squatting down here is to share this with you. This is something you can't have on your Morgan Super 3. This owl is only ever shown on prototypes. And I think it's a really cool thing. The story goes, and I don't know if this is true, that in the factory there used to be a stuffed owl designed to keep pigeons out and messing on the work. Nowadays it serves as a symbol for the skunk works within the Morgan factory that first developed this Super 3. I think it's really cool. Let's talk about the stats. Under this nose cone, or slightly behind it, is a Ford-sourced three-cylinder 1.5-litre engine, which produces 118 bhp at 6,500 rpm. That means a 0 to 60 time of about seven seconds or thereabouts. And if, like me, you enjoy a bit of barnstorming, then you'll be pleased to know that it tops out at 130 mph. 
If you're wondering if this will fit in your garage, yes, it probably will. And if you think, will it fit in my hanger, then it certainly will. Dimensions are ooh, about this. Three and a half meters long, 1.8 meters wide, and 1.1 meters tall or thereabouts. So from nose to tail, we have got a 1.5 litre three-cylinder Ford engine, a five-speed Mazda-sourced gearbox going through a bevel box with a custom-designed tooth profile, propelling the rear wheel via a carbon fibre reinforced drive belt. The Morgan Super 3 is available to order from your nearest Morgan dealer today. Or if, like me, you're itching to get started, then head over to the Morgan website and start configuring your own. I'm thinking... Maybe gentian blue paint, saddle leather, maybe tinted yellow aero screens, and perhaps, uh, yeah, I'll go slightly different with those, maybe shadow chrome.